Today you join me in central London where I start my day bright and early with a 5am alarm call and due to circumstances I have to get an early train back to Cheltenham just to then get the coach up to today's opposition, Bolton Wanderers. Bolton are a fantastic side with an incredible fan base and they've been through a torrid time over the last few years with financial troubles and several relegations. They are now looking to get back into the championship this season. They sit 5th place in Skybet League 1 on a decent run of form with wins coming up against the likes of Charlton Athletic and Portsmouth. They did also get a 0-0 draw against league leaders Plymouth on the 7th of January and on their first game of 2022 did pick up a 3-0 away win to Michael Duff's Barnsley. On the other hand, we sit 8th in Skybet League 1 on 29 points. We are on a poor run of form with our only point of 2023 so far, coming in our 0-0 draw at home to Port Vale last Saturday. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always, and my prediction going into this game is unfortunately going to be a 2-1 loss. Will Charlton be able to pull a result out of the bag, or will Ian Avert's side show their quality and get the three points? Only time will tell. Let's start the long journey up to Bolton. Then, so the lineups are now out. Uh, a bit of a shambles, really, to be honest. Effectively playing the same team. Uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but I'm pretty sure it's the same team that drew 0-0 with Paul Vale last Saturday. Makes absolutely no sense as to why uh, Elkham Baggett is not starting on that left side of the defence. He's a left-sided defender. He should be out there for a reason. We don't have a left-sided defender other than him, and he's not starting, which. I don't know why he hasn't had any minutes, but there you go, it is what it is. Wade Elliott is the man with the decisions, so we trust him. Um, so yeah, Parry and midfield, Bonds, don't know how reliable that's going to be against a side like Bolton, but only time will tell. May and Goodwin up, up top could be useful together, could you know produce a couple of goals. Hopefully that is the case, but I, to be honest, with, with no change in the team from Saturday, I'm not confident at all. Uh, I did say 2-1 in prediction, but... To be honest, even more so now, I just can't see us getting anything from this game. Hopefully the lads prove me wrong, but yeah, let's go to kick off. Come back in, come on. 
Nil. Been a bit of an even game to be honest. I think both sides have been alright. Uh, we, we've been more of a counter-attacking uh, minded team in this game. I think they've had the control of it, but we have had some solid attacks and we've had a fair few of them. Uh, neither side looks threatening. Uh, neither keeper has been forced into a save, I don't think, yet. So there's been a lot of block shots, etc. We came close on a few occasions. We just need to, we just lack that quality in the final third. And I think. This game to me is crying out for an Aiden Keener, but that's just my view on it. Um, but yeah, I think it's a tough one to talk about because it's just one of those games. It's very cagey. Um, it will change in the second half, I'm sure. Hopefully, there's goals. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's your second half.
then full time Bolton won Charlton now I think from a Bolton perspective based on the attacks they had it's probably deserved uh, but there's there's a lot of flaws to our performance today. I think the goal we conceded was so easily avoidable no one closing down the edge of the box the whole of the second half we gave them free reign to pass across the box which is just never a good idea when we've got players all marking the attackers that aren't going to be able to put a block in it's as simple as that and it was a disappointing one to concede and it was a great finish but it, sh it should have been cut earlier but fair play it was a great finish credit where credit's due um, Bolton fans did pick up a lot in terms of noise when they scored so fair play uh, yeah, you can see why they have claims of, of a good fan base because they are um, but yeah from our point of view it's another game lost it, it's, it's another knock to the form and you know it, it just makes Accrington an absolutely huge game next Saturday for me I, I, I don't want to I don't want to make it over the top. I genuinely do think that next Saturday could define our season. With the form of teams below us, you know, with, with, with the players we've got out injured, etc., with, with our form considered, it is Saturday. If we lose on Saturday, is that going to change our season completely? Unfortunately, I think it could be. Um, and there's only so many unluckies, because I think today at times we were unlucky, but there's only so many unluckies we can have. But... Yeah, it is what it is. We didn't come expecting a win, so we moved to Aki next Saturday. Massive game. And join us for the vlog next Saturday. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please smash like and subscribe. It'd be massively appreciated. Have a class for us today. And see you in the next one.